Hello colors and welcome back to Viva Barca. Welcome to another interesting episode where we are going to be discussing on the latest stories. We start with Pablo Torre as it has been reported that the young star have agreed to a loan move as he knows for sure that next season's game time will be hard to come by. We are going to be discussing on that as we progress. Secondly, Talking about Frankisi, as the Barca midfielder will leave the club only if a good offer arrives. We are also going to be discussing on that. So guys, as we get right into the full stories, please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, endeavor to hit the subscribe button. Turn on the post bell notification to always stay notified whenever I post a new video. Consider liking the video and please watch it right up to the very end. Barcelona midfielder Pablo Torre will certainly leave the club on loan this summer, but he is not going to make a decision about his new club now. According to a new report from Ferran Martinez of Mundo Deportivo, Pablo Torre did join Barca only last summer, arriving from Racing Santander in a deal worth 5 million euros. The Catalans beat arch rivals Real Madrid to the young star signing, and manager Xavi wanted the young midfielder in the first team dynamics right away. However, minutes were very hard to come by for Pablo Torre, given the competition in the middle of the park. As such, the 20 year old played just 13 matches for the senior side across all competitions, scoring and assisting one goal apiece. Barca do not wish for Torres' development to stall due to the lack of game time, and they had told the young midfielder that the best move for him is to join a La Liga club on loan so that he's, you know, he can accrue regular playing time and continue his progression. Torres is understood to have accepted that he will be on his move on the move temporarily, but is not in a hurry to choose his next club as he wants to take his time and ensure that he makes the right choice. As such, there is a possibility that Pablo Torre will even fly to the USA with the rest of the team for the pre-season tour and leaves Barca after returning from North America. Villarreal has been one of those clubs to have shown interest in the player and could be a good place for the 20-year-old to develop, considering that they will be able to offer him European football as well next season. Of course, Pablo Torre has been one of those players that have been, you know, going through a lot since joining the club last summer. Torre was seen as that player with so much hunger. He really wanted to play. And I think this is a guy who has great talents, but we haven't been given a lot of the opportunity to watch him play. Javi haven't been giving him the chances to play quite often. And you can see Pablo Torre as that guy that he's not happy at as how things have been going so far at his time at Barca. You know, when leaving Racing Santander, after helping the club from the third division, promoting to the second division, you know, Pablo Torre was coming to Barca, hoping that, you know, he will really have a breakthrough in his career. But things didn't go as planned. And of course, with the competition in midfield, Pedri, Gavi, Frankie de Jong, Busquets last season, Frankisi, it was not easy for Pablo Torre to break through and become a regular and therefore the player was really very really frustrated. When Xavi sent him to play for the B team, Pablo Torre was not happy about that. Even for the B team, the manager of the B team will always say Pablo Torre does not even train with the team. He does not even want to play games in B team because he feels like he's been demoted. He feels like after his, his, his huge performances the other season, Barca bought him with the assurance that he will be playing for the first team. But when he came, manager Javi would say go to the B team and play there to gain experience or to, to have regular playing time. And Pablo Torre have never been so, too, you know, he, he was not in one accord with the manager about that decision. So ever since there have been rumors of a potential loan for the player, and I think that would be the best decision for the player's own future development, a loan move would be the best thing that he can decide. Because I think he has great talent and I think Barca should never sell him. Barca are also of the idea of loaning him out to a club, especially in a La Liga club, so that he can gain that valuable experience playing in La Liga. And of course, Villarreal has been one of the clubs that have been showing the most interest in Pablo Torre to signing him up temporarily 
So as it stands right now, they are saying that Pablo Torre is in no rush to make a decision, but he is confident that he would decide the club. He won't lack a club to play for next season. He himself knows for sure that he can't stay at Barca for the next season, especially as Xavi continues to add new midfielders to in his ranks. Therefore, it means that competition for midfield is very tight. And of course, game time will be very, very difficult to come for Pablo Torre. Of course, the player really wants to play for the United States um, tour, like in the preseason that will take place in the US later this month. He wants to be part of the team, but that doesn't mean he will be there when the season kicks off, as he himself now is open to a potential loan move, especially to play in La Liga to gain valuable experience. And so that hopefully coming back the other season, you know, the manager of Barca will give him a chance to prove himself. So let's see how the coming weeks will look like as Barcelona try to make the decisions that will suit the club in order to sign players to strengthen the team and sell the players that need to be sold in order to ensure that the summer transfer window becomes a huge success. Then moving on to the final story of discussion. Over the past 24 hours or so, there have been contradicting reports emerging on the situation of FC Barcelona midfielder Frank Kissier. On Tuesday, reports emerged claiming that the midfielder had agreed to leave the club this summer after being told that his game time will not improve in the upcoming season. However, soon after his agency quashed those claims. Following that, Frankisi's agent, George Atangana, met with Barca directors Deco and Matteo Alemani earlier today. After that, reports suggested that Frankisi would remain at the club as he has no desire to leave and wishes to succeed in Catalonia. Now though, Javi Miguel of AS has come up with yet another update on the matter, stating that Kisi will leave Barcelona this summer. However, the Blaugrana do not wish to undersell him and will only offload the Ivorian if an offer arrive that meets the evaluation of it. As for the player himself, the 26-year-old and his camp will consider leaving if a good offer arrives. Frankisi is cutting interest from Inter Milan as well as close from Saudi Arabia. Barcelona need him and some of the other fringe stars to leave this summer, given their financial fair play situation. As things stand, Frankisi is already behind Pedri, Frankie de Jong and Gavi in the pecking order at the club. Now with Ilkay Gundogan also arriving, the 26-year-old Ivorian situation will take a further hit and minutes will be further harder to come for him. So the ideal situation for the midfielder would be to go on a club where he can play regularly, a, a scenario that would help the club as well, but unless a good offer arrive that satisfies both Frankisi and Barca, an exit seems unlikely. So guys, with that, we have come to an end of this episode. Thanks a lot for watching. Until next time, bye-bye.